Hey guys, so this is going to be an unboxing video for a package I got from AutoGeek. Um, I got a package from them. It's the Marine Oxidation Removal Kit. I had them customize it. Um, so everything you see in the middle there, as far as the Marine 31 products and all the buffing pads, microfibers, all that came with the kit. I added this Rupes Bigfoot um, carry bag to put the buffer and all the product in. And then I added the or I swapped out for the LHR 21 Mark III, which is the latest and greatest uh, random orbitable, random orbital polisher from Rupes. I guess it's the highest rate. It's got a 21 millimeter throw, and they had something else in there. I think it was the 15. So I swapped it out for this one. They made me a great deal, and then I just got it here last week. So this is the first time I've seen it. We're gonna see it together. All right, so you get a uh, quick start kit, your manual, and then there's the polisher. So, wow, it's got some weight to it. It's definitely uh, probably well made. Um, backing plate on it, I'm not sure if that's a five inch or what it is, but we'll take it out later and I'll show you some uh, before and afters. We're going to use it on my wife's car here today and I'm going to use it on my truck tomorrow. And when I get my boat back from Havasu next week, I'm going to be doing some work on that as well. But just want to give you kind of a uh, inside look at what you get in the kit. And here's the box that came in. So pretty happy with it. And uh, again, we'll do some before and afters. Thanks for watching. All right, so this is the car that we're going to be starting on. This is my wife's uh, 2015 Toyota 4Runner. The build date on this car is September of 2014, so next month it'll be six years old. We've never kept it in the garage. It's, uh, I don't think I've ever waxed it. Never had it detailed. I've always done the washes myself with a combo wash uh, wax kind of detergent, but never hand waxed it, never polished it, never cut it, never buffed it, never done anything. And you can see how much crap this paint and this gel, you know, not gel coat, sorry, I'm thinking about my boat. This clear coat has gone through. So just sitting out in the sun, a black car in Arizona for six years. Uh, we bought it October of 2014, so it was a month old. It's just completely faded and uh, oxidized and it's got like permanent spots in it. I don't know, I didn't clay bar it. So I'm gonna try this Roops out. I'll probably go ahead and mask off half of the hood just for fun. Or maybe since I'm taking this video and you can see what it looks like now, I might as well just do the entire thing. The roof looks the same way. The sides aren't as bad. I just washed it about five minutes ago. But it's definitely, definitely in need of a paint correction. So I'm gonna start out with a cutting pad, cutting, uh, look at that, just where I put my finger. I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna polish it, and I'm gonna wax it. So it's gonna be a three-step process. I'm gonna do the whole thing with the Rupes 21, or Mark 21, LHR Mark 21, Mark 3, whatever it is. And we'll go from there. All right, so I purchased this whole thing in, with the boat in mind, but I am gonna be using it for my vehicles as well. Um, it, it's basically this. This is the, the Marine Oxidation Removal Kit. It comes with the Marine 31 products. As you can see, we've got a wax and shine detail spray. Uh, the first step of the paint correction, which is the heavy cut oxidation cleaner, then the gel coat final step polish, and then the wax and sealant. Now, if it's good enough for gel coat, it's probably good enough for um, clear coat. I'm gonna take it easy. It's got a number of different pads. And I think they tell you what they are. So this is the wool pad, which I believe is for cutting polishing pad for polishing. Let's see what this is. Black foam finishing pad for the jeweling and the light cutting pad. So the gel is really heavy. Probably gonna go ahead and start with this orange pad and the cut. We'll see how that goes. All right, I do wanna clarify. I think I said it was a five inch pad. This, the backing plate on this is five and like seven eighths, five and three quarter. So I guess they would call it a six inch. And they've got a number of different backing plates 
available, but this is what I've got. So I'm going to start out with this and a six inch pad. All right, so I'm going to do what I've seen in a million videos. Put like five dots on here, or six, and then I'm going to start with a couple on here. Because this is so bad, I don't think I can fuck it up. <laughs> so, all right, start with that. All right, so as you can see, I'm just trying a little section here to see how it goes. This is the cutting compound. I just did a cross hatch, so I went horizontal, left to right, like this. And then I went up and down, as you can see. And that's with the five dots plus a few drops on the paint. So I'll go ahead and uh, wipe this off and we'll see what it looks like, just for, uh, just for comparison sakes. I'm sure it's gonna take a lot more than what I did, but that was literally one minute of running time. All right, so this is literally just that one pass. I wiped it down real quick and you can already see under these lights, look at the difference. And this is on setting speed one. So this is the lowest setting, but already just like after one minute of runtime with light, light pressure, it's already cutting it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another couple passes on this section with a higher number, higher speed, and then we'll move on to the, re uh, the rest of the hood. All right, so this is after doing the entire hood just one time with the cutting polish and the uh, orange cutting pad. If you should, I'll somehow cut it in where you can see the original uh, frames from before I even started, but already, already with one pass, it is night and day. So I figure once I hit it with uh, maybe one or two more passes, I can switch to the polishing pad and do that a couple times. So probably five more passes to get it where I want it and then I'll do wax. It's probably six more, three pads and six passes. Should probably have it looking like a mirror. All right, so this is three passes with the Marine 31 cutting formula. And it is really, when it dries, it turns into all that white crap you see everywhere. So I'm not sure if that's good or bad. It's not, it's not totally cut out. I mean, there's still some crap in the paint. I mean, there's places over here that you can see. Should probably try and polish out. I'm not sure. Like that right there. I don't know what that is. And then there's something right here. I don't know what that is. But anyway, it's not a show car. I'm just trying to restore it a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the polishing phase. For that, I'm gonna use the black polishing pad and their gel coat final step polish which again this is for boats but I'm sure it works fine on clear coats so let's get started all right so this is after three steps of or sorry three three passes with the cutting compound two passes with the polish um, it's not perfect but compared to what it was when I started it's totally night and day and I still haven't done it with the uh, wax yet. So I'm gonna polish out a couple scratches here on the side. But you can kind of see them right there from going through brush. And it's just on this front fender. So once I get that done, probably polish the front part of the roof above the windshield, because you can see that. And then I'll go ahead and clean it up and get this thing waxed. All right, so it's not totally clean yet, but I've polished the roof between the uh, sunroof and the windshield, the mirrors, the hood, this fender, because there was some scratch in it, which is pretty much gone. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up a little bit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply, start applying the wax sealant to protect the paint. But overall, I'd say for a couple hours of work, this thing is easy to use, and it's literally a night and day difference already. Not perfect, but it is a black vehicle. They are harder to clean and polish, um, but definitely it's gonna help keep the paint in good shape for a while to go. All right, so I'm done cutting, polishing, and waxing the Forerunner. I think it looks a lot better than it did, that's for sure. Paint is not perfect. However, this is my first time using an actual machine to do the uh, 
polish and wax. And you can see it's never been clear broad because the entire front of the hood is covered in rock chips. But you got a pretty good reflection, you know. You can see down the side here how good it looks. I didn't polish the sides, I only polished the hood and the front fenders and the uh, roof right there in front of the, uh, right behind the windshield. The sides were, were pretty good, so I just left those alone and waxed them. And I'd say that if you guys are in the market for a polisher, a random orbital, I think that this uh, Mark 21, it's really nice. It's got a nice balance to it. It's heavy. You can tell that it's well made. The trigger works really well on it. It's good modulation. Um, and it's got six speeds. I stayed on three or three and a half for the cut and polish and on the wax I kept it on two seems to work out pretty well but uh, anyway on to the next I gotta wax my truck next so pull this thing out and get that pulled in thanks for watching guys